Hi guys, I'm Vidya and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be what to pack uh, in a hospital bag for labor and delivery. A lot of you have asked for this video um, and to be honest, I didn't need that many things from home uh, when I went into labor because the hospital provided most of the things and uh, that's quite common here in the US but um, I think you want to know how you can prepare for a stay in the hospital so um, I'll go over the things that you might need uh, for your stay in the hospital and you can check uh, beforehand what uh, they provide for you and what you need to bring so that will be good um, about 32 or 33 weeks pregnant is uh, in, when you are in your 8th month is when you should be thinking about uh, making a hospital bag uh, because just in case your baby decides to come early you want to be prepared uh, so all you need to do is just get um, a cabin bag or a travel bag and put your essentials in your husband's or whoever is coming with you to the hospital some of their essentials and some things for the baby so I'll start off with the most important things first your medical documents your insurance papers and your ID so basically anything that you need to get admitted into the hospital should be the first thing on your checklist um, and your cell phone and your charger so these things like your wallet your phone charger you're going to be using right until the last day before you go to the hospital so I made a small note on a post-it um, with these few things and put it on top of my bag so that when we are heading out into the hospital we just grab these four or five things just like my toothbrush my cell phone charger and my wallet uh, and whoever is picking up my bag can you know just take a look at those and make sure that these things are there um, because when I am in labor I wasn't thinking uh, straight and I wanted everything to be on autopilot and not have any guesswork right so you want to be as prepared as possible another important thing that I put in my bag was my birth plan so my birth plan was uh, discussed with me a few weeks before my uh, due date um, by my doctor so it's basically just a list of your preferences for your labor and delivery like if you want to have a natural birth or a c-section or if you want to have an epidural or not uh, and if you're having a boy if you want the boy to be circumcised or not so just a list of preferences of course it's uh, subject to change uh, depending on um, the medical situation but if everything goes well these are your choices so they're all on a piece of paper and I put that in the outer pocket so that uh, anyone who's with me is also familiar with you know the things that I want for my labor and on the uh, back side of that piece of paper I wrote down the emergency contact number of the hospital and um, my medical record number like my insurance number uh, with which they'll find my records in the hospital and I made sure that everyone who was in the house knew uh, where these documents were and in case I go into labor they know which number to call Next are some clothes and personal things for you the mom so you might want to plan for a three day stay at the hospital that seems to be the average uh, you can get out sooner if you have a natural birth and if, if you have some complication you might stay for a couple days more but three days worth of clothes is good enough um, if you're planning on breastfeeding uh, you might want to take some nursing bras with you at least two or three and uh, if you want you can take some nursing gowns or nursing tops with you uh, I just used the hospital gown and that was very comfortable for me and um, I took a robe with me like a black thin black robe uh, just to use as a cover up and also a scarf because um, the hospital can get quite chilly at night and also in terms of breastfeeding I took my nursing pillow with me uh, which you may want to take uh, the hospital pillows are also quite good but this is just more efficient and um, the hospital provides a breast pump if you need it um, if your hospital doesn't provide one you might consider taking one with you because in the first few days the uh, supply is established and they recommend pumping quite frequently so that is another thing that's nice to have um, 
and um, you're going to be bleeding a lot in the first few days regardless of having a natural birth or a c-section so you might uh, they'll provide you with those uh, giant maternity pads at the hospital but if you don't want to use those you can take those overnight pads with you just take a big uh, packet of those and uh, you should be fine and they also give you disposable underwear at the hospital which is really good some people don't like it and they prefer to take their own um, cotton underwear from home um, so you can pack uh, four or five of those if you want next i took a small bag with uh, some of my essentials but the hospital provided me with uh, most of the things that i would need uh, at the state so this is what they gave me this has some lip balm some um, soap some shampoo a pen and a notepad some earbuds some um, eye mask and they also had hand sanitizer and things like that so this was actually quite enough for my stay and i i'm not too picky about um what shampoo i'm using at the hospital so i was fine with that but uh, i had my little bag of uh, things with me as well so uh, i in this i put a, a cell phone charger some tissues uh, a lip balm uh, a hair clip very important when you're in labor some earphones uh, in case i wanted to listen to music uh, a moisturizer didn't end up using that um, a hair comb um, that is good to have as well i have a pen and i had a notepad in here somewhere and um, ors which is just um, electrolytes uh, the hospital gives you these if you want them but this was really good for me because um, i was in uh, I had pretty strong contractions when I was on my way to the hospital in the car so um, my mom just put this in a bottle of water and uh, made me drink it so I would have the energy to you know be in labor for the next few hours um, and I have some snacks some protein bars with me in here um, the hospital cafeteria is obviously there but um, I was uh, getting hungry in the middle of the night because the baby wakes up so often uh, and it's good to have some snacks with you uh, without having to send someone out to bring something for you. So yeah, I didn't have much more than that. I wasn't going to wear any makeup in the hospital. Um, but if you have a photo shoot, um, like a newborn photo shoot, and if you want to get ready for that, you can carry some makeup and uh, a special outfit if you want. I just wore my hospital gown for the shoot and uh, I didn't bother too much with it. So yeah, those were my essentials. And uh, next are some clothes and things for whoever is coming with you to the hospital. So my husband stayed with me. So he had um, two or three t-shirts, uh, a pair of pants and some socks and he was fine. So we don't live that far from the hospital. Uh, so if uh, he wanted to, he could just go home and you know get freshened up and come back. So that was fine. Next are some things for the baby. Um, the most important person, right? So the nurses kept our baby swaddled when we were in the hospital. So he was just in his diaper and uh, wrapped up in a hospital blanket. So we didn't need uh, any clothes for him when we were uh, there. But I did take some things for him. Uh, so I took these side snap t-shirts uh, for him. So they don't irritate their belly button. I took a couple of these in the smallest size. These are by Carter's. And I also took some hats and um, mittens. We didn't end up using the mittens. Um, and the hat was, this is the smallest size, but it was too big for him. And um, we just ended up using the hospital hat. I got this um, like just to keep as, you know, memories from the hospital. So these hats are very soft and thin and I think they are just perfect uh, for your baby. So uh, apart from that, I took uh, a cute blanket uh, for the photo shoot just to wrap him up. If you have a girl, you can take some uh, pretty 
bows or a tutu or something just for the photo shoot that will be really cute you can take a going home outfit so uh, what the baby is going to wear when the baby comes back home that is a really special uh, thing because uh, for me it was very special because it was the first um, pair of clothes that the baby is going to wear in this world and um, I put something that my grandma made for him um, on the baby so it was quite special so that's a nice thing to have something sentimental Apart from that, you don't need many things for the baby because diapers and wipes are also provided by the hospital in case they are not and you can find out from your hospital. Uh, you can take a big packet of the uh, smallest size of diapers and wipes if you want. So I did take a packet of wipes with me because I wanted to use this particular brand of wipes and I wasn't sure if the hospital was providing them. Um, so I did take a packet of uh, water wipes with me. Next I had a small bag with uh, all the electronic things like uh, cell phone chargers and uh, an iPad because if you end up having an epidural you'll have some time to you know relax so you might want to watch a movie or uh, I didn't have that so I used the iPad after the baby was born to uh, kind of you know google stuff <laughs> in the hospital. So that is good to have and of course a camera uh, to take those precious uh, newborn pictures and make sure the camera battery is charged and you have a spare battery also and um, of course the most important thing if you're living in the US is don't forget the car seat because they won't send you home without the car seat and make sure that the car seat is installed uh, a few weeks before your uh, due date. So those were the things that I had in my hospital bag. As you can tell I didn't pack a lot of stuff and my bag was quite light. Um, I'll leave a few links in the description box below with some checklists that might be useful for you when you're packing your bags. and. Um, Try not to stress out too much about it, just put in a few essentials and uh, find out from the hospital what they provide for you so it will be easier for you to pack and focus more on enjoying the last few weeks of your pregnancy and it's so exciting that you know you get to meet your baby soon. So all the best to you, you have my good vibes and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, hit on the thumbs up button because that's how I know uh, I'm making useful content for you and do leave me a comment. I love uh, reading your comments. So yeah, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.